Hi there everyone, Lori Baracco here, and I'd love to share with you my predictions for the week of August 30th, 2020. And I will be using my Gilded Royale Tarot by Sarah Marchetti. And so I'll give my cards a little bit of a shuffle, as I do every week, and I will select three, and that will be our collective message for uh, this upcoming week. Oh. Looks like a few, actually three chose themselves. They volunteered. All right. Um, looks like more karmic work. Yay. Uh, more karmic work has uh, come to, is going to be coming to the service and has been coming up for all of us. We have the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups is the energy of being nurturing and loving and caring and motherly right and um she also holds the vibration of self-care as well so as we navigate through these times and these challenges that have been coming up for all of us. She reminds us to take care of ourselves. She reminds us to make sure we replenish the reservoirs of energy and emotion and mental agility that may have been depleted uh, these days during our lives, right? So she's reminding us, don't forget about the self-care. And um, uh, in a way, she's kind of warning us that we may crash and burn if we don't take care of ourselves. The next card is the Six of Pentacles reversed. So there is the evening out of, and balancing out of our thoughts, words, and deeds, not just from this lifetime, but other lifetimes. So we're clearing a lot of stuff. Often the, the um, Six of Pentacles is about the give and take, the laws of karma. What you put out is what you receive. And that also has to do not just with our actions, it's our thoughts, our beliefs and our words. So what we're putting out and what we focus upon is um, is a huge part of our reality, has a huge impact on our realities. And the last card that we have is the Nine of Swords. So, excuse me, the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords. So there may be some triggers, a lot of triggers that come up this week, um, uh, laced with fear and sabotaging beliefs. And Spirit is most certainly encouraging us to uh, take our time as we navigate through these times. So I'm taking time with my words because um, I do think that this week may be a little bit of a roller coaster. But what is going to help us find our footing and keep us grounding is this Queen of Cups. This week, I do believe she is the most important card of the deck because she's reminding us that if we if we fill up our reservoirs, if we take care of ourselves, then we're well balanced and we're well prepared for what life brings us. So it's important that we not forget about this aspect of ourselves, of, of ourselves and um, to uh, connect with people and um, people who help support, who support us, who provide that nurturing, that healthy balance for us as well. And the healing, right? Do you go to a practitioner? Do, does someone do distance Reiki for you? Right? So, so these are things to think about and to integrate and to implement in our lives to help us as we shift into higher realms of ascension. The soul's ascension is really taking place. We're really ramping up for that. And don't forget the full moon is on the second. Actually, then uh, it's just at, just after midnight, I believe on the second this week of September 2nd. So we may be feeling uh, a lot these these days with the full moon coming in. It definitely brings in a heightened sense for, uh, for um, us empaths and sensitives. So let's be mindful of that as well. So if you need a little bit of time to, to, to step back and 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 uh, work with some of your self-care routines do that I really do encourage you to take care of yourself not just in these times but always but really that's what's really going to help you um, keep your footing and that and so that you don't get burnt out and fried okay all right everybody I'm Lori Baracco I look forward to seeing you soon namaste